What's up everybody? I've got a spec stage three plus clutch kit in front of me right now. This is for the 10th gen Honda Civic 1.5 liter turbo models. Uh, we're just gonna go over all the features of it and tell you a little bit about what you can experience if you decide to get a clutch like this. Hey everybody, it's JP from edgeautosport.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a spec clutch stage three plus kit in front of me right now. This is for the 10th gen Honda Civic, the 1.5 liter turbo models only. This is gonna fit all the non SI 1.5 Ts and the SI 1.5 Ts. Um, the, the spec actually has quite a few kits for the car ranging from stage one to stage five and a stage two plus and a stage three plus, which is what we have in front of us here. So I think it's seven total kits. We don't have a flywheel in front of us right now. This is made to go with the factory dual mass flywheel. You can upgrade to an aluminum flywheel if you want. Spec does make that. Any of those other clutch kits you're interested in, make sure you head over to our website, see what the torque ratings are, see what the clutch material is. All that good stuff is on our website, but we are gonna talk about one of my favorite clutches from Spec in front of me right here, which is the Stage 3 Plus. Now this thing, the, the, main, the, the main idea behind the 3 Plus is they use the carbon semi-metallic pad material on the disc, and the disc is a full face disc. So it's a very, very performance driven clutch, but it's not gonna come with the really, really hard hitting engagement of a six puck or a four puck or a three puck that you see out there. So it's kind of a best of both worlds type of clutch. You'll see from the torque ratings that even though it's you know a couple steps below the highest torque rated clutch that spec has or any given kit has, uh, it actually holds quite a bit of torque. This clutch material is going to hold up to heat really, really well. And that's ultimately what kills a clutch or what really takes a clutch to uh, the breaking point is just spinning it up really hard and putting a lot of heat through it. This thing is gonna be able to hold on really, really well in a high heat environment. So um, we'll just go over the features of, of the kit. It's really no different than most clutch kits that you see out there, but we'll just go over this one in particular. With spec, they're gonna show you which, uh, which side goes on the flywheel so you don't get confused if you're installing it yourself. And specifically with this one actually, because it's not sprung, the center hub is not sprung, and neither is the factory disc actually. The, uh, most of the noise and vibration uh, reduction is done through the flywheel on the Honda Civic, so you actually don't need uh, the springs in the disc if you're using the factory flywheel. So, um, so this is for the factory flywheel. So it does tell you which, which side goes to the flywheel since it's a little bit harder to tell uh, since there's no kind of protruding hub with the springs in there that you can normally tell on other kits. Like I said, it's full face. And this one, the material on this thing looks really exotic. It's very, very shiny bronze, which is kind of cool. Not that you'll ever see it, or not that it matters what color it is, but it's definitely different than a lot of other clutch kits you'll ever see. Uh, but I like the full face stuff. Like I said, it doesn't hit so hard. It's a little bit heavier disc. So as it's spinning, it travels longer, holds more inertia, and, uh, and just engages a little bit smoother. Uh, according, uh, well, according to spec and uh, with my experience, uh, I've experienced that same thing. So there's the disc. Spec has a really, really nice blue clutch cover, which is always nice. Here's the, uh, the backing of the pressure plate right here. This is going to engage on top of the clutch disc and press it against the flywheel. So nice, smooth pressure plate there. And, uh, and then one cool thing is some clutch kits don't come with a throwout bearing or a pilot bearing or an alignment tool, this does. Some clutches don't need that in their kits. This one, it, it is wise to replace this stuff, especially if you, if you have a higher mileage car. And this is gonna come with everything you need to replace that. So um, the only other thing you'll need is flywheel bolts most likely, uh, but depending on what you're doing with your flywheel, you might not need those bolts. So everything that you need to install a clutch kit comes in this kit. So. Just making it really easy for you guys to uh, to get this thing done and in your car. Now we all know the uh, well, you might not know, but the the 1.5 T models kind of have a weak clutch from the factory. So once you start modding, once you start raising the boost, uh, once you start making a good amount of power, you definitely need to upgrade the clutch. It will start slipping at some point. Some of them will last longer than others, depending on how you drive. 
but you know if you're pushing a lot of torque through there and heating it up it, it will go out eventually so something like this is a great great upgrade um, so we're happy to have it on the site like i said all their clutch kits are on the site if you have any questions about them just put it in the comments below or you can shoot us an email whatever you prefer we'll gladly help you decide which clutch kit is correct or right for your application for your 10th gen honda civic and uh yeah so thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.